The four New Mexico bases popped up in the 1940s. They were vital for our country's success in World War II. Nothing more important than White Sands Missile Range. Since the 40s, this has grown to our country's largest base. It touches five counties in southern New Mexico. Today, they test all weapons the Army can use. In the 40s, they tested the first atomic bomb here. Holloman Air Force Base is also rich with history, played a major role in space exploration. In 1961, a trained chimpanzee was launched into space from this base. In 2003, a land speed world record was set at the base. A railed vehicle got up to 6,524 miles per hour. KOAT was there. Cutting edge of technology and uh, it just doesn't get any better. It went three miles in six seconds. Nowadays, the base is used to train drone operators. Cannon Air Force Base near Clovis is where the Air Force comes to test its newest aircraft. Its economic impact for the region is nearly $340 million. That is one third of Clovis's economy. Speaking of economic impact, the Kirtland Air Force Base here in Albuquerque just released its latest estimate on its economic impact. The total economic impact of Kirtland Air Force Base, and that is um, a combination of salaries and job creation and the contracts that are generated by businesses on Kirtland amounts to $7.6 billion. $3.8 billion stays right here in the metro. The base covers a huge range of missions and employs more than 20,000 workers. That's a mix between civilians and military personnel. These four bases are a vital part of our local communities and crucial for our country's defense. Todd Kurtz, KOAT Action 7 News. And it's not just our bases, but nuclear submarines are also an essential part of our nation's defense. And even though we're nowhere near water, New Mexico is still represented. At 10, we show you how many submarines have been named after the land of enchantment and how important these vessels are in protecting our country. We take you behind the scenes and give you a glimpse into the history of New Mexico's connection to these underwater vessels. And our salute to New Mexico heroes concludes on September 12th when the Lobos take on Tulsa. We'll be there along with a lot of our KOAT staff as Kirtland Air Force Base does a flyover. We'll also try to set a world record for texting donations to wounded warriors. You can join us too. Just go to our KOAT Facebook page and enter to win free tickets to that game. We hope to see you there. When you send